Hi YouTube, it's Mo. Um, so, I don't really know what I want to call this video, but I'm just going to be talking about the misunderstanding of teen moms and um, basically the reality of it and like why it's not cool to be trying to get pregnant and become a teen mom. Um, I was going to say something else. It's kind of like a continuation to the other video I did, the reality of Team Mom. I think that was Life as a Team Mom, something like that. Um, it's kind of like the continuation to it. Um, so I'll just get started by saying it's not fun, it's not a joke, it's not a game. It's really hard. My kid's not here yet, and I struggle. I don't struggle like money wise. I'm not like on the streets or anything. I struggle knowing that I can't take care of myself. I'm six months pregnant now and I can't get a job. I've been going to job interview after job interview. I had a job when I was, was that three months? Like two or three months. And I had to quit working because it was too much. Like I passed out at the job and then I went to the hospital and they're like, the job you're working at, if you keep working there, this is going to keep happening. And it's not good. So, I had to quit. Oh, wow. That's better lighting. And I didn't want to, but, you know, that just, every time I put the phone down, the lighting gets bad. Um, I didn't want to, but I had to. And um, now I have to depend on other people. And that's my struggle. Other people's struggles may be that they don't have money. It may be that the, the their parents put them out because there's a teen mom that I watched that her mom is putting her out. Like, she's moving out because she can't stay at home with her baby once the baby get there. That's fucking crazy. Like, my my family, I'm, I'm lucky enough that I have the family I have that they didn't feel that way and didn't. Like, totally say, no, you can't. This is not going to work. But it happens. And so many teen girls think that, oh, well, yeah, they're going to be mad in the beginning. And then they're going to get over it because they love me. Yeah, they love you. And some people love tough love. They love very hard. And when they love you and you make a mistake, they're going to show you that that's not a good thing. You know, they're going to make sure you learn your lesson. And they will put your ass out. Yeah. And my aunt got put out with my sisters over there like subbing, <laughs> sidelining, whatever, co-signing. Um, well, yeah. My aunt. In the she was 15 when she got pregnant or 16. 16. And her dad put her out after the baby got born. The baby was like two or three months. And he put her out in the winter time. With no shoes. With no shoes. In the snow. And she was walking in the snow and she went to a friend's house. Eventually the friend got tired of her staying there and she couldn't stay there. And then it was just a fucking struggle. She just had to, she was everywhere. Until so she went to her sister's house, my, my aunt, you know. And then she, like, it was just too fucking much. And even back then, it was like that. And my aunt is like in her 50s. So it's, it's worse now. It's worse. It's like. Fucking protect yourselves. It's not a fucking joke. And I, I get so pissed off. And the reason why I'm cursing so much is because I really think that some teens are really freaking irresponsible. It's like, protect yourself. I protected myself. And yeah, like my best friend said to me, you know, well, you protected yourself. You were extra careful and then you still got pregnant. Everybody's not me. Like, your situation and my situation could be totally different. If you protect yourself, what the fuck does that have to do with me? You know, it, you may end up like me, pregnant anyway. But, if you know you protected yourself, then you can feel just this much fucking shitty about your situation. Because, you're already going to feel shitty. You think you're not until you're you're pregnant and you can't work and you can't do shit for yourself or your kid. You have to depend on everybody and everything until your kid is born. And then you think that's good, you know, and everything until your kid gets here 
And then you're like, wow, everything my kid has, I didn't fucking buy. I had to depend on everybody else to do that because I got pregnant while I was a teen and didn't have a career or I wasn't in college and I didn't protect myself. So not only you have to worry about being a teen mom, you have to, you have that guilty fucking conscience in the back of your mind telling you, well, this could have been prevented had I protected myself. So for all you dumbasses out there that are letting these dudes just do whatever they want to your body, think about what you're doing. Because you don't want to end up like me or like other teen moms. Can't fucking work. Can't do shit for yourself. You got to depend on everybody else. Everybody's telling you, put that down. Everyone's telling you what to do. Because you're not in your own home. You're in some relative's home. Whether it be your parents or an older sibling or an aunt or grandparents. It's still not your fucking home. So they can tell you whatever they want. But you don't want to hear that shit. Because this is your kid, right? Yeah, but it's your fuck up too. So it's not all games. It's not all hee hee hee. Oh, it's nice. Don't get me wrong. I do not regret my kid because my kid is already in the process of making but I went through the measures to make sure my kid wasn't going to be here this early. And, hey, it happened anyway. So, I can't get mad. You know, I just feel like, oh, it's moving. Like, those kind of moments, I understand why some, some, some teen, like, teens that wanted to get pregnant, why they feel so happy about it. Because there are moments that are like, oh, wow, that's so cool and like my kids moving right now and I just feel so happy that my kid is okay and moving around some teens get pregnant and for one some get pregnant with more than one and then something may be wrong with your kid I'm lucky enough nothing is wrong with my kid I only got one in there and that's bad enough so if you're out there trying to get fucking pregnant don't think you're just gonna get one healthy kid you may get Four or five unhealthy kids. You know, God forbid. But, like, think about what you're doing before you do it. Because it's not fun, it's not a game, and it's not cool. And then, dudes are not all that's cracked up to be. Because when they're stroking it, it's going to be a whole fucking different ball game when they realize they have to man the fuck up and be a dad. It's going to be a whole different ball game. They're going to be wanting to be... A million miles away from you and your fucking kid because they don't want to take care of the, the responsibility. And you're sitting there with an I ate ass on my face. Look. Because you're like, wow, it was so much different when we were having sex. It was so much different before I got pregnant. Yeah, that's why, dumbass. Because he doesn't want to be there. Same way you don't really want to be there, but you don't have a fucking choice, do you? <gasps> you don't. So before you, you watching this video thinking that I'm I'm lost I've lost my damn mind before you unprotect yourself think about what's going to happen afterwards think about what the fuck you're going to get yourself into cuz it's not him it's not your family it's not your friends it's you you're the one your mom you're you're the one so man the fuck up woman up whatever and get your shit together. Because who wants to be bringing in kids that don't, des that don't deserve to have a shitty life because you can give them anything better? Nobody. So, I don't know. This is really kind of my ranting video for all the dumbasses out there that are trying to get pregnant. Or the dumbasses out there that think pregnancy is cool. Is cool. Don't get me wrong. The science of it is a miracle. It's a fucking miracle. And it's breathtaking. It's really miraculous. What happens. But the reality of it. Fucking sucks.